A Fox Business Alert, disappointing housing news. One of the reasons for today's sell off on Wall Street, the Commerce Department reporting housing starts unexpectedly dropped 10.6% last month. But listen, the question remains here can the real estate market bounce back? Without a bounce back in jobs, our next guest sure is trying. He has found a way to create thousands of jobs, although he'd say he's not the one creating jobs. He takes gutted areas in the Rust Belt, turns it around without any government help. Industrial Realty Group, IRG. He's the founder and president. His name is Stuart Lichter. Joining me now in Clayman's Corner. And Stu, I'm thrilled that you're with us because you've done a lot of this in my former area where I lived for three and a half years, and that is Cleveland, Ohio. But let's start with the overall way that you do what you do at IRG. What is it? Explain to people how you're able to turn gutted areas around without any government help. Well, when large facilities close uh, in the Rust Belt, they're available at very low prices, and we know how to acquire the properties, reposition them by modernizing the infrastructure, breaking them up into spaces that are suitable for uh, smaller companies than the big companies that were in the facility. And so we're one part of lowering the operating cost of a company. We also work with companies to help them understand their logistics patterns, their overhead, how they could operate more efficiently. So, so we view our role as a, uh, somebody to help a company make more money than they would otherwise make. Oh. And we've been very successful at refilling these facilities. Well, let me give one of your, your biggest successes, and that was going to Akron, Ohio, which is just south of Cleveland, taking the old BF Goodrich plant, which of course was a tire plant that was booming in the 80s, but of course then it just completely shut down. The cheap labor went overseas. You bought it. You fixed it up. What is it now, and how many people are employed there? Right now, it's a, a development called Canal Place. We have over 100 companies in it, a mixture of office and industrial users. And that particular facility, I believe, employs somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 people. I don't understand, though, how it is that if you're in an area that already had urban blight and the loss of jobs, that you would then find businesses to fill it if there's a flooding away of, of people who live there because they're looking for jobs elsewhere. How does that work? Well, actually, I think it's a conventional wisdom that there isn't a lot of job formation and business development in some of these older areas. What's actually happening, if you look at a state like Ohio, where we've done a lot, uh, what's actually happening is they have more closures than other parts of the country, but they have as much new job formation and new businesses expanding mm -hmm. as those other places. So they have skilled labor, they have people who don't want to move, and we take advantage of the fact that there is a tremendous infrastructure there and help those people who are starting up. How important, uh, how important Stu, is it to have a state government or, well, heck, a federal government that makes it easier for businesses to be created to fill the properties that you rehabilitate because you're out there in California and I mean we had Adam Shapiro out there several months ago where he talked about how many rules and regulations almost some of them really outrageous and ridiculous before you can even start a business all of the the federal the state rules that you have to follow that, that just make it almost impossible to start a business it, it, it's not an accident that certain states succeed more than other states. The, the, you know, what the government does, the government sets the rules of the game. Mm -hmm. And the more cooperative they are, the more they ally themselves with business, the more they say, we're going to be your partner in helping you make money, and the less they get in the way, businesses go where it's easy. Businesses go where they can make money. You know, a lot of them can grow any place. And, and you know, we... we we avoid places where we find the government to be adversarial. We won't even buy a development to, to redevelop because we feel we won't be able to succeed with the tenants if the government isn't a friendly government that's pro-business and, and, and business friendly. You just issued an important warning to governors of this, this country. I hope some of them were watching, Stu. I think you're absolutely right. Make it friendlier and the jobs and the businesses and entrepreneurs like yourself will come. Thank you for joining us on Fox Business. My pleasure, Liz. Stu Thank Lichter you. of IRG. He's from New York. He's in L.A., and he does great things in the state of Ohio and elsewhere. Lizzie, back to you. Great story. Right? Well, Liz, yeah, that was a great story. And it's a tale of two governors and two...